Hi folks, you struggle to build highway interchanges in Transport Fever 2. Do you want to add some realism to your highway network in the game? Are you just looking for more interchange options than just what's provided in the vanilla game? If so, this video may be just what you're looking for. A diverging diamond interchange is a little tricky to build in Transport Fever 2, but I'm going to take a shot at it today. There are many benefits to a diverging diamond interchange, including it usually requires less real estate and typically has lower construction costs, just to name a couple. So that's enough chit chat, let's get building. Smash that subscribe button below right now and click on the bell so you don't miss out on more great content. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Or just give it a thumbs up for yourself, so that you'll always be able to come back and watch it again if you need to. So in this video, we're going to build a diverging diamond interchange. And in terms of presentation, um, I'm gonna just show you portions of the major build steps and not show you absolutely everything, as opposed to a previous video I did where I showed absolutely everything and did it at high speed. And when I presented it in a YouTube video, I'm just gonna show you portions of the major build, but you'll get the idea. So in terms of landscape, we have the city of Baltimore over here, and we have the city or town of Billings over here. We have a highway here, and so we're gonna need a connection between the two cities. And this is the general area here where we're gonna build the diverging diamond interchange. So the first thing we should do is just level out the landscape. So just so you know, I am playing with infinity money. So money is no object in this build. And uh, so yeah, next we're gonna do the landscaping. We're just gonna flatten out the area to make sure our build is easier to do. It's not necessary, but it's optional, but it's certainly recommended. So I just go to the uh, landscaping button here and we choose the flatten tool. And I'll make the brush size as big as I can make it and the strength as big as I can make it. And we'll just flatten out this whole area. We'll go around to the other side and we'll do the same thing. So there's the major road in Baltimore and this looks like the major road in Billings. That might be a little too close to my skyway there. So I might have to come over a little bit. I think this side's okay. Try to cross at 90 degrees as best we can and connect up over here. We might have to make a new so-called uh, main street or just curve this one around to come through. So the next thing to do is to set the bridges. In a diverging diamond interchange, the roads will be in the opposite directions you think they would be if you live in North America. So, and I'll demonstrate in a few seconds. So I'm gonna use the roundabout tool. It's actually called a better roundabout, a circular intersection with optional bridge type. And really it's an elevated roundabout. And I'm gonna use that as a tool to set my bridges where I want them. Kinda of hard to do, just doing it visually. We'll go back to roads and we want a large one-way street. A three-lane one-way street with a speed limit of 60 kilometers an hour ought to do it. I just want a bridge in between. Pillar collisions there. Can't see any and I'm not getting a collision warning. That looks good. Okay, now we have our two bridges. So now I can take out the roundabout. Okay, we have the beginnings of our diverging diamond interchange. Now we gotta build up some earthwork on either side so we can build the rest of our roads. We'll raise up the terrain. And I'll do it. And we'll flatten it. Make it a little smaller. Not too small. So I need to let it work.
Okay, now we gotta build our crossovers, I'll call it, on either side of the bridge. First of all, I'll just build a little tiny straight part. Good. Okay, let's take a look at it from above. That looks pretty good. It's maybe not perfect, but it looks pretty darn good. And this is the beginnings of our diverging diamond interchange. Just smooth this a little bit here. Do that out a little bit. Do that. Do a little bit of landscaping. The smooth tool. That doesn't look very good. Just try to get that more visually in line. Also on a grade, so that's why it might look a little tiny bit off. It looks a little better. I'm just making the approaching roads as big as they should be. This could be the main artery between the two cities. The road needs to be as big as I can make it. Sorry, by adding the tram track and making it electric and the bus lane, I can have a tram going between the two cities. A little wobbly. That is certainly not the prettiest, but it's workable. Wish I could make that more symmetrical, better looking. I like the look of the left side, it's pretty good. This side here, I don't like it at all. But but may not be symmetrical at the end of the day. And let's see if I can build a little better. Ooh, it kind of crunches it. It worked. It's not really pretty, but it worked. And there's the basis of our diverging diamond interchange. Yeah, it's not completely symmetrical, like this side is a little wonky. That side looks a little better. Try that again. That looks pretty good. Well, in terms of steps, we built one, two bridges. Got our diverging part. I think the two sides are going to look different just because of the different geometry here. I don't know how I can get it better if there's a way. Certainly let me know in the comments. Well, I'm relatively new to Transport Fever 2, so I'm not exactly perfect at it. But so far, so good. The next step is to build the ramps. Let's build a little more earthwork to the sides here to facilitate the ramp construction. I'm just guessing in terms of how far I have to go out right now. That should be good for a start. I think we want at least a two lane ramp because it's going to split here. But two lanes coming up and one, one. Okay, so we're going to select a medium highway two lane one way road with a speed limit of 80 kilometers per hour. And just to make sure we have.
a little better. I wanted it more of a curve. two lanes. That should work. Entrance ramps onto the highway are one lane and the exit ramps are two lanes. That just stops any weaving and whatnot right at the connection here. And we've done some slope flattening already. So let's do some landscaping. It's going to make that little puff of smoke every time I plant something, but it does. It makes it harder to see. You guys just can't click and drag at a whole bunch of trees. I think what I'll do, the game's been on pause. I've got the town of Baltimore, the fillings. Next thing to do is to turn the game on, hit play, and come back in a little while and we'll see how it's doing. See if this diverging diamond interchange actually works the way we thought it would. All right, let's take a look at the final product and see how our diverging diamond interchange is doing.
Well, as per usual, the traffic's all using the same lane, even though I have multi-lanes. So well, that's working the fact that I have a set of lights here at this intersection. Oh, there's some people coming off the ramp. So it's not an overwhelming amount of traffic, but it's operating well so far. It was a little hard to put together, but essentially it's operating as a diverging diamond interchange. And the ramps aren't exactly what I wanted, but it's working. I don't want them to turn left there. They're not doing that anyway. They're all moving over to the other lane. Yeah, they all love to use one lane, even though it's a multi-lane road. Overall, I'd have to say it's working pretty good. Folks are stopped at the red lights like they're supposed to. Maybe when the traffic gets a little heavier, this may be a problem, but right now, they're actually using both lanes. So in the comments below, let me know what you think. Was this a decent looking highway interchange? Is there some way I could make it better? And is there some way I could have constructed it better or more precise or some technique I could have used that you're aware of that I'm not? Um, but either way, it looks like it works and I'm happy with it. If you have any comments, just note them in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you haven't done so already, smash that subscribe button below right now and click on the bell so you don't miss out on more great content. Click on that box in the bottom left hand corner right now to see a video you're almost guaranteed to love. This video was selected just for you by YouTube, and they know what you like. So what are you waiting for? Click on that box now, sit back, relax, and enjoy another video.